you know what the second most popular holiday is in this country? Halloween. Yeah, that's how it works. Let's, let's weigh this out. Okay, peace on earth, goodwill towards men, and boom! <laughs> Equally uplifting, don't you think, folks? Oh, by the way, have you ever noticed boo is the only scare word we know? It's the only thing you're ever taught to scare people is the word boo. If you didn't know boo, we wouldn't know what to do. They'd open the door and you'd be like... <laughs> All we know is boo, and yet boo is not inherently scary. Watch, boo, 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 nothing! So why do people that say think they did something creative? Boo, gotcha, okay. <laughs> no, it's the fact you were hiding in the refrigerator. That's what got me. You could have said pretty much anything. Mikey Rancho. <laughs> what do you got me? I'm not a big fan of Halloween. I'm not afraid of Halloween. I'm not scared of Halloween. There's nothing on this earth that frightens me. I fear God only, but the thing that's interesting about Halloween is I think it's an inherently flawed holiday because it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Here's how it's supposed to work. Trick or treat, I tricked you. You gotta give me candy. <laughs> the problem is, I wasn't tricked. They always come on the same day. <laughs> I knew you were coming. No trick, hence no treat. <laughs> it's too popular. The only way trick or treat would work now is if you came like in May. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> what is going on? Trick or treat. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> okay. All right, here's a pickle. Hey, Danny, speaking of ghost hunting, check out the latest in ghost hunting technology, the Ghost Gabber. It takes the mysterious sounds a ghost makes and translates them into words you and I use every day. Here, try it. Uh, uh, boo? I am a ghost. Fear me. I better get to school. I better get to school. Fear me.